New York's great St. Patrick's Cathedral for his funeral. James Cagney, streetwise son of a bartender, chose instead the plain church where he served as altar boy in the East Side neighborhood where he grew up. He was always such a regular guy, and very earthy, you know, no make-believe about anything. And everybody loved him. Among the pallbearers, a great dancer, Mikhail Baryshnikov, and a great fighter, Floyd Patterson. Like the apparent opposites, sweetness and toughness, which, when Jimmy Cagney performed, somehow became one. When he made gravity evaporate under his toes and his body waved like a flame in the breeze. Or when, as the tough guy, he demonstrated his own definition of good acting. Plant your feet, look them in the eye, and tell them the truth. And mister, you ain't never gonna get off this ship. He was a, a great, great American whose values and whose, whose general decency, I think, inspired millions of people. He didn't want to have anything to do with the limelight. Cagney said one should not aspire to stardom. One should aspire to doing the job well. He did that in 62 films and a remarkable variety of roles, and in 64 years of marriage with the fellow vaudeville dancer he wed in 1922. After dying peacefully Easter morning at their beloved farm in upstate New York, James Francis Cagney was laid to rest today, the sweetheart man with the killer smile, the great professional of whom colleagues said, when you worked with him, he was like fireworks going off. Bill Blakemore, ABC News, New York.